Woo. Okay, everybody up. Start moving. Oh, let me just change the screen so that it's on my video. There we go. All right. Let's ride it out and bounce it out. Oh, we can see Sharif today. Ah, oh, Sharif! <laughs> <laughs> He turns it off. <laughs> See? All right, let's get ready. Make your fighting stance. We're going to go jab, jab, rear push kick. So jab, jab, rear push kick. All right, ready, set. Jab, jab, rear push kick. Keep going. Jab, jab, rear push. Jab, jab, rear push. Keep going. Keep going. Jab, jab, rear push. Jab, jab, push kick. Push like you mean it. Push like you're kicking down the door. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And time. Okay, diamond position for diamond push ups. So on the ground, hands make a diamond, go down, and we can start doing push ups. Ready, set, go. Down and up. Down and up. Keep breathing. You bend those elbows and hold. Hold it. And up, down and hold, and up, down and hold, and up, down and hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. and up, and down, and up, and down, and time. All right, Whew. all right, jab, 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 cross, switch, kick. Jab, jab, cross, switch kick. Ready, set, and go. Jab, jab, cross, switch, and kick. 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 Keep going, one, two, three, switch, kick. One, two, three, switch, kick. One, two, three, Switch, kick, one, two, three, switch, kick, one, two, three, switch, kick. Let's go, Sharif. What are you waiting on? Jab, jab, cross, switch, and kick. Keep going. Jab, jab, cross, switch, and kick. And time. All right. Round kicks. So we're gonna go right round kick, left round kick, right round kick. Then we're gonna, if you're out of the space, you're gonna go back, kick, back, kick, back. So you're gonna go forwards and backwards, doing your round kicks. Ready, set, and go. Alternating legs, alternating legs, alternating legs. Open those hips up. Keep going, 20 seconds. Alternate those legs. Looking good. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, jab, cross, hook, spinning back elbow. So, jab, cross, hook, and from the hook, we're gonna turn with a back elbow. Make sure you look at your target. So as you turn, make sure you look behind you before you throw the elbow, all right? So, jab, cross, hook, back elbow. All right, ready, set, and go. Jab, cross, hook, elbow. Jab, cross, hook, elbow. 
Use that hook to set up your elbow. Jab, cross, hook, boom, elbow. Jab, cross, hook, elbow. One, two, three, 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 elbow. Throw that elbow. 20 seconds. Jab. Cross. Hook. Elbow. Jab. Cross. Hook. Elbow. And time. Okay, side planks. I'm going to hold side planks for 30 seconds on each side. So, side plank, you're going to lay on your elbow, feet together, hips off the floor. All right, guys? Ready, set, and go. Hips off the floor, hold that plank on your side, keep breathing, tense your core, hold that position. Keep going, hands up if you need to. Your hands behind the head, whatever you feel comfortable with. Keep those hips off the floor. Let's go five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Let's go to the other side. Hips off the floor right away. Hold that position. Keep breathing. Keep your core tight. Hips off the floor. Keep together. 10 seconds, might be shaking, that's okay. Keep it tight. Four, three, two, and time. All right, back up. Now, jab, cross, hook, slashing elbows. Jab, cross, hook, slashing elbows. So that's the left, left elbow, right elbow. Ready, set, and go. Jab, cross, hook, slashing elbows. Jab, cross, hook, slashing elbow. Jab, cross, hook, slashing elbow. Turn those hips. Jab, cross, hook, slashing elbows. Get those hips moving. One, two, three. And elbows. One, two, three. Elbows. One, two, three. Elbows. One, two, three. Elbows. Keep breathing, keep going. 20 seconds. Jab, cross, hook, elbows. Jab, cross, hook, elbows. Jab, cross, hook, elbows. Throw those slashing elbows. Boom. Side to side. Three, two, one, and time. All right, boxer sit ups. We're going to do two punches and two hooks. Hook so that you can start to get some obliques in there. So when I sit up, one, two, three, four. Throw the hook, make sure you twist your hip. All right? So again, I sit up, one, two, three, four, and back down. As I'm falling back down, I'm throwing the hooks, right, to get my obliques engaged. Ready, set, and go. <laughs> Seconds, 20 seconds, catch your breath, grab some water. Is that Brandon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brandon likes to sit and watch us work out. I know, I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> Hi, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> He's healing his knee, so yeah, I he has it. an excuse. I was like, who's this jerk just watching us here? Go on. <laughs> He's observing, he's looking for that proper form. Brandon. Brandon. Yesterday? No, right now. 
Oh, the mystery right. person yesterday? Yeah, 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 I still haven't figured that out. I think it might have just been like a Zoom bomb. Uh, no, but it was, it was empty. It was... Yeah, if, if your camera's not on, we don't know who they are. We'll just have to boot them. Yeah. Uh, but safety. the room, my point is the room is all, the password protected. So it must have been someone. It could have been just someone from our, we just don't know. They might have a funny name. Exactly. So. And then we don't know who it is. So Brandon says he's here to critique. All right, guys, Brandon is staring intently at you guys. He wants to make sure your techniques are perfect. So right. make sure your techniques are perfect, okay? Hey, Brandon, you can still do jab cross hooks from a cherry cone. That's true. You can sit and do jab <laughs> cross hooks. That's how athletes do it when they injure their knees. There you go. There you All right. go. Sit on a ball. Solo drill one. Frog hops, technical mount walks, hip up, arm bars with a twist, scorpion stretches, and forward backward rolls. All right? Okay. So frog hops, pretty simple. I go, my hands start standing, but I reach my hands forward, kick my legs up to from the side. If I'm going down, I go, boom. Right? Those are frog hops. Ready, set, frog hops, and go. Kick those legs up. Keep going. Those legs up. Yes. Breathe. Yes. Keep going. Twenty seconds. Hands down. Legs up. Hands down. Legs up. Yes. Keep breathing. Hands down. Legs up. Looking good. Looking good. 10 seconds. Keep breathing, hands down. Kick those legs up. And time. All right, we're gonna do knee sprawls with a technical mount walk. So here's what it looks like. You shuffle, hands down, knee sprawl, technical mount, and you're gonna do a shuffle. So the reason you shuffle is you're trying to follow your, your, your opponent. So when I go down, knee sprawl, I pick up my leg, and I shuffle, keeping the technical mount position the whole time. So, knee sprawl, technical mount, shuffle. Ready, set, and go. Shuffle, knee sprawl, technical mount, and walk again. Put your hands down, put your knees down. Then go to technical mount. And shuffle, shuffle, hands down, shuffle, shuffle, knees down, technical mount, follow those legs, switch and follow those legs, keep that technical mount, 10 seconds, 9, 8, Seven, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, hip up, arm bar. So a normal hip up, we just go straight up. So we rock back, hips go straight up. But with the twist for the arm bar, you're gonna shoot your legs across to one side or the other. So look, when I go back, when I go hip up, I turn my hips. When I hip up, turn my hips, so my feet face towards the sides. All right, so it does a hip twist when you, when you bring those hips up. Ready, hip twist, hip ups, go. Rock back, turn those hips. Turn those hips. Turn those hips. Turn those hips. Keep breathing. Engage your core. Twenty seconds. Keep going. Five seconds. Keep breathing. And time. All right. 
Scorpion stretch. From bear crawl, hands and feet. You're gonna turn your hips, stretch your leg. Just like a scorpion stretching the tail. Back around, stretch. Okay, left and right, alternate. Get a good stretch, open up the hips. Okay, ready, set, go. Keep breathing. Open up those hips. Big stretch. Feel it all the way up into your abs. Keep opening those hips. Looking good. Let's go ahead and bend. Let's go, Christopher. Turn, Christopher. You're going to open those hips. Bring that leg back a bit more. Try to almost try to think you want to touch your foot to your elbow. You won't be able to. But that's what you want to think of. Let's go, Sharif. No more rest, Sharif. That's it, Sharif. Reach. Get that stretch. Time. All right. Next one we're going to do is forward, backward rolls, but not flat. So you're going to start on your knees, tuck your arm. Forward, you're gonna go back right away. Backward. Switch sides, forward, and then backward. Get in place. I know a lot of you don't have as much room, so just go in place. Forward, backward, forward, backward. All right, guys, ready, set, go. Take your time, proper form. Brandon's looking at you, so make sure you have proper form. <laughs> go through, slowly, and back. Engage your core as you roll through. Smooth in the roll. a nice calm round one right I normally we go like crazy today's a little bit lighter and coming up to the end of the week I'm gonna make sure everyone's not too sore over the weekend so I don't worry I'm gonna kill you once you do the dummy drills <laughs> I'm just giving you a rest right now just kidding he's not he's not oh, sorry I'm not <laughs> all right grab some water if you want then we get round two so make sure you have something to pick up. If you guys have a kettlebell or like a weight of some kind, that would be ideal. But if you just have a belt and water bottle, that's fine too. So, something you can pick up. So you're gonna pick up on a roll. So for an ankle pick, it's basically gonna be, first one is sprawls, or knee sprawls and ankle picks. So the reason I want you to have like, if you have a kettlebell, that would be ideal. Or even like a dumbbell will work really well. I don't have that here. If you have it, use it. So check it out. Knee sprawls, I shuffle, knee sprawl. Then I'll post my hand, post my leg, and I will pick up, but not just pick up, I wanna pick up as I'm rowing. I wanna pull my elbows back. So, I've got a live partner, it's the same idea. From my knee sprawl, I come up. I don't, if I just try to pick his leg up, I won't be able to get it up. That's why I have to row, I have to pull back. So as I pull, I'm pushing forward and I'm rowing my elbow as I'm pushing on his hip. So the same thing with the drill. Shuffle, down, post. Pretend you're reaching for that ankle and you're gonna pull like you're rowing. Okay, I want to see that row, rowing action. All right? If you have a weight, use the weight. You'll get a better workout. Ready, set, go. Shuffle, shuffle, knee sprawl, row. Shuffle, shuffle, knee sprawl, and row. Keep going, shuffle, shuffle.
five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. All right, wrestler shots with an ankle pick. Same idea. So, I go in, hand, knee, I switch, and I pick. All right, so I down, hand, knee, switch, pick up, do the roll. All right, so the wrestler shots with an ankle pick. Ready, set, go. Hands down, knee down, and spin as you pull. Hands down, knee down, spin and pull. See how kids do that before in the class right before this? Well, some of them are so fast. <laughs> Let's see who can beat the coaches. All right, so they all do this for we're here on our knees, up down. So I step up, I stand up, and I'm back down. So what we're trying to do is use your hips so that you can start to move quickly. So it's like right as fast as you can, up and down, up and down. All right, ready, set, go. Looking good, looking good, everything good. Keep Check it out, how it works. Start, up, down, back step, back, up, down, back step. Okay, up, downs with back step. Ready, set, go. Up, down, with back step. Up, down, with step. I know it's tiring. You can do it. Time. Woo! All right. Last one. Flat back rolls. So the rolls we just did were on our knees, but this time we're going to go flat. So you lay flat. Okay. Kick my legs. Roll. Flat belly. Go back forward. Flat back. So flat back, flat belly. Ready. Set. And go. Flat belly. Flat back. Keep going. Keep 
you're going flat belly, flat back. Finish strong. 20 seconds. That's it, Nigel. Looking good. Is it out of van? Gonna roll over that shoulder out of van. Tuck your arm in. There you go. Take your time. Go slow. Don't rush it. It's a slow, controlled exercise. Give me a couple more. And time. All right. That's the end of that drill. Of that, sorry, that, that, that round. I'm gonna really quickly give you a quick lesson on the rolls. Some of you are rushing through it, and it's not really a roll. You're just like, doing more like a log roll. So check it out. Back roll is pretty simple, right? I'm gonna do this from the side. So look, my goal, if I'm gonna roll to one side, I'm gonna turn to look to the side that I'm rolling. So I'm rolling towards the camera, towards you guys, I'm gonna look towards you guys. As I kick my legs back, I want to get all my weight through my shoulder. Just check it, I look, right? So all my weight is on that shoulder, and now I flatten out, right? When I go forward, look, I start to turn onto the same shoulder. Same shoulder I just rolled on. I turn onto it, and I start to build up. See my butt comes up, and I go through, right? From the front. So again, putting my weight on one shoulder. So I'm gonna turn to that side. Lift my legs using my core. Right, go through and go flat, turning my head. Now when I go forward, same thing. I can switch and go to the other shoulder, but I'm just showing you one side. So I come up, weight onto that shoulder. Right, weight onto that shoulder. And go flat, right? That's how you do the drill. So if you didn't get it today, that's okay. It's all on camera, so you can go back, check it out, follow the instructions, and try to perfect that flat back roll, right? Very, very important from escaping from bottom positions. Let me give you an example. Nathan is north-south on me. Like this, right? So look, I extend. I choose the side to roll to. Put your hand on the other side so I can roll towards the camera. So from here, I look how flat on my back, I could roll into the back control position. Okay? Mount. It's another example. The person's mounted on me. Right? So I'm here. Boom. His hands are forward. I extend. Look. When I'm ready, I'm going to kick my legs. Roll through. Right? And up on top. So you need to have control over your core to do some of these escapes. So this is an excellent exercise for that. So don't cheat when you do it. When I say don't cheat, try to limit your momentum. So, what I'm saying is, don't be like, Whoa! Whoa! that's momentum, don't do that. Build up using your core. So you're flat, legs come up. Okay? Try to use your legs to generate the momentum. Because sometimes you're not gonna be able to sit up and rock back. Right? Just like when I'm pinned on my back, I can't sit up and rock back, so I have to rely strictly on my core. So don't cheat on the exercise. All right, get away. That's a lot of talking. Oh, grab your dummies. Okay. Grab your dummies. So I got the uh, hand or the... Everybody has a dummy here. Oh, so, uh, I don't think Alex knows what these are. He doesn't. Alex has a dummy. Everybody has a dummy. Brandon doesn't have a dummy. Brandon, where's your dummy? Brandon, where's your dummy? Come on, Brandon. <laughs> oh, he has a pillow. There you go. Nice. I believe the term is side of the bully. Yeah. It's the whole seatbelt coming. All right. 
We're gonna start off with the following combination. Knee cut pass and hip rewind. So, I just wanna make sure everyone's comfortable with their knee cuts. We're gonna, there's two passes, we're focusing on the knee cut and the X pass. We've done it quite a bit already, but I wanna make sure everyone has it perfect because those two passes go well together. Um, with a partner, I'll show you why they go well together. I have explained this before, but very quickly, if I go in for a knee cut, there are a couple things my partner will do. He'll either push me with his hands and block me from finishing the knee cut, that's one thing he could do. The second thing he could do is hook my leg with his inside uh, foot and shin, just like he is right now. Right, so those are the two things that he can do. So if he doesn't though, then I finish my knee cut, standard knee cut. So I go standard knee cut, I go through, put my elbow down, drop my elbow to the inside, and slide through, right? When I say drop my elbow to the inside, I'm referring to blocking his underhook. That's why I drop my elbow inside. If I just do this, he'll come up towards my back, all right? So, X pass is the opposite. So, as I go through and I feel like I'm blocked, I post my hand, same as before, and I donkey kick, or I use that scorpion stretch idea, and I kick my leg back, okay? And I push his legs across, Land knee on belly, that's the X pass. Those are the two passes we're gonna focus on for, the, for our drills, in addition to all the other stuff we're gonna do. Okay, so knee cut and X pass. With the dummy, pretty simple. Split the legs, step one leg out, one leg in. One leg out, one leg in. Hand down, slide, knee cut through. Drop that elbow, same as before, okay? That's a key detail. Your, your opponent should never be able to get their underhook. So make sure you drop that elbow. Even better, if you can shoot an underhook, okay? But given we're playing with a dummy, might be tough to shoot that underhook, it's up to you, but definitely drop the elbow, okay? We're gonna warm up with knee cuts for a bit. So you're gonna go, 30 seconds, down, knee cut, back up, down, knee cut, back up, side to side, okay? Knee cuts for 30 seconds as fast as you can. Ready, set, and go. Knee cut, back up right away. Knee cut, back up right away. Down and up. Good cardio, down and up. Keep breathing. Slide through, back up, slide through, back up. Elbow down, don't forget, elbow down. Elbow down, snatch that underhook if you can. Knee cut, underhook, knee cut, underhook. And time, right away, X pass. So you're gonna go straight into X pass. Everybody ready? Hands down, if you quick review, if you didn't know what I meant, X pass. Step in, same as before, hand down, kick the leg, donkey kick, step in, knee on belly, come back. You kick the leg, knee on belly. Okay, that's your X pass. Ready, 30 seconds. I should give a minute for this. Might be new to some people, go. If you're comfortable only going on one side, just do one side. That's totally fine. Keep going. Donkey kick, knee on belly. Donkey kick, knee on belly. Donkey kick, knee on belly. Or scorpion kick, knee on belly. Same thing. Keep going. Push through. 30 seconds. Keep resetting. Let's keep breathing. Let's keep moving. You're gonna be guard pass extraordinaires at the end of this. This is Sharif, kick that leg. That's it, good job Sharif. Give me a good knee on belly. So Christopher, the leg in the middle is the one you kick. So leg on the outside stays on the ground. So the leg between, so put one foot between your, your dummy's legs. That's the leg that you lift. All right, time. Okay. Now, we're gonna make, add, make that a combination. But I'm gonna call out moves and you're gonna hit those moves. So if I say knee cut, you're gonna do knee cut. If I say, so for example, let's say, Nathan, you're down. So here's a dry run. No, so yes, no, you're down, you're doing it. Oh, okay. So here's what's gonna happen. Knee cut, knee on belly. Mount, Americana, perfect, right? I'll get, call it instructions, you have to follow those instructions. Here's another example. X pass, knee on belly, jump switch. Mount, armbar, perfect, all 
All right? Try to go as fast as you can, following the instructions as I call them out. So pretend this is, this is good practice for competition. We're competing, your coach is on the sideline, he's yelling out instructions. You need to be able to quickly follow his instructions when he yells them out. All right? Ready, set. Jack, you ready? Ready, and go. Knee cut. Knee on belly. Jump switch. North south. Knee on chest. Knee on belly. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Side control. Knee slide to mount. Perfect. All right, let's reset. Let's go again. You have to go to follow along very quickly. Okay. Don't worry if a lot of this is new and you're slow down. You're you're a little bit behind the queue. Don't worry. Do your best. All right. Getting ready to pass. Passing positions. X pass. Knee on belly. Windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Knee on chest. Mount. Technical mount. Arm bar. Beautiful. I should I like videotape that? That's so cool. <laughs> All right. Ready. Oh, it is on video, isn't it? X pass. Knee on belly. Windshield wiper. Jump switch. Step over mount. Technical mount. Chair sit back take. Arm bar from the back. Perfect. Back up. So you find a lot of these things I've we've taught you already, right? So they're 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 not new, they're just combining things that we've done. Alright, ready. X pass. Knee on belly. Switch other knee on chest. Switch other knee on belly. Windshield wiper. Jump switch. Mount. Arm bar. Back take from arm bar. Arm bar from the back. Remount. Arm bar. Back take. Remount. Americana. Time. All right, catch your breath. Whew. My dummy's arm was like tied around yes. the back. It was like, My, uh, <laughs> How are you guys doing? Are we doing good? Yeah? Take the top I know Brandon's having the most fun. Sure he's breathing hard, I can see him. He's breathing, that's good. How's Gabe and Nate? Doing good? All right. How's Alex? Looks like he's breathing hard. All right, good. Justin. Justin says these drills are awesome. Don't worry, they're gonna get awesomer. Just wait. All right. Next pass we're gonna do, so we did the, so I'm gonna give you a third pass. We did X pass and we did um, uh, Nika. We're gonna do the backflip pass. If you can't backflip, maybe you don't have mats, maybe you have a harder floor, simply do the back step, okay? So here's what I mean. I'll do the back step first, because that's the easy one. So I come here, I go knee down, and I back step as my pass. For more acrobatics, I want us to do the back, ro the back flip, or back roll. So I'm here, I put my hands down, I roll, I do that back flip. Then from here, what I want us to do, once you're here, is I want you to kick, pull, and then pull yourself back into mount. So you're gonna back flip or front flip, whatever you wanna think of it as. You're gonna flip out to the pass and you're gonna flip back into the mount. So in one move, it looks like this. We're here. Right away. So it's flip out, flip back. Got it? If you can't, don't worry. Just do the back step, it's easy. So you go here, knee down, back step, step over mount. Okay, that's the easy version. Okay, ready, set for one minute. Back foot passes into mount or back step. Go. 
backflip. Flip into mount. Flip into mount. Looking good. Or simply back step. They're all good. Yes. Yes. Looking good. 30 seconds. Flip pass, flip to mount. Looking good, Dan. Ooh, look at Nigel go. It's like an acrobat. Let's go, Sean. That's it, Sean. Flip back in. Looking good. That's it, Justin. Looking good, Moon. Take your time. There we go. Good. Back step pass works well. Let's go, Matthew. And time. All right, now we have a third pass. So now when I give instructions, I have the X pass that I can call out, the knee cut I can call out, or the back flip pass, all right? So we're gonna add those now into the rest into the into the drills. All right, everybody, you need to catch your breath? Woo! No, let's do it. says no. Let's go. Anybody else need to catch your breath? I'm Brandon, you need my to catch your breath? Hand. My knee flipping backwards. All right, ready? Oh Alex, let's go, everybody up, everybody up. Let's finish strong, guys. Three minutes left. Knee cut. Knee on belly. Windshield wiper. Other knee on chest. Knee on belly. Windshield wiper. Arm bar from knee on belly. Knee refresh. Take the back. Take the back. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow into arm bar. Take your time. Remount. Arm bar on the opposite arm. Switch back into mount. Switch back into mount. Arm bar on the opposite arm. There we go. Beautiful. All right, catch your breath. Back into position. What did you do? I don't know. Oh, the, it just the sleeve is the sleeve came out. I think you killed. I think you killed the dummy guy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's actually like All right, the table is out. Out. There we go, we fixed Ready. it. Ready. Doesn't have a key either. Back flip pass. Mount. Back take. Chair sit back take. Arm bar from the back. Switch it to mount. Arm bar on the opposite arm. Switch off the side control. Knee on belly. Jump switch. Jump switch two. Jump switch three. Back take. Arm bar from the back. Remount. Side control. Knee on belly. Jump switch. Knee on belly. Windshield, windshield, jump switch, back take, arm bar, side control, back into guard, X pass, right away, right away, back into guard, X pass, X pass, let's go, let's go, back into guard, X pass again, let's go, let's go, let's go, back into guard, back into guard, X pass again, let's go, 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 go. Knee on belly, switch, jump switch. Back take. Arm bar from the back. Switch into mount. Back into guard, X pass. Knee on belly, back into guard, back flip pass. Back into mount. <laughs> Arm bar from mount. And time. Woo! All right, that was three minutes. We normally roll five minute rounds, right? That was three <laughs> minutes. Woo! Actually, that was more like two and a half minutes because I was talking at 7.12 to 7.15, so that was more like two and a half minutes. So that was half of a round. He's got breaking my heart. <laughs> that's hard work. That, that's not easy. I was just standing there calling it out. I had the easiest job. Actually, I think Brandon had an easier job. He just got to watch. 
As soon as you slip up one, you're just scrambling to catch up. No, what? <laughs> so this is like competition, right? As you slip up, because I'm calling it out, and yes, just as Nathan said, you have to catch up. That's how it feels when you're drowning in a tournament, or even in a role, right? You're playing catch up, right? So yes, I'm calling it out quickly, and what the tricky part is, you have to process it first, then you have to do it. And now it comes down to your ability to, to have finesse in your techniques for it to be quick, right? And when you feel you're, you're playing catch up, that's why we need to do these drills more and more and more, right? So it actually helps you, you know, get back into, into the rhythm of things. Questions? Questions are from Gabe. Yeah. Can you show the back take from armbar? Back take from armbar. Okay. With a dummy or with a partner? Dummy or partner, I guess with a... Well, I'll show you with a partner oh. first and I'll show you with a dummy. Because, yeah, it's going to be the same. He said partner. Armbar to back take or back take to armbar? Sorry. Back take from armbar. Yeah, so, yes, yes. Okay, so, so you go over here and just turn. Alright, so I went to an armbar and I boom, boom. Armbar. Okay, so back take from armbar. The leg comes over the head and I pull my partner on top of me and I extend their arms and I put my hooks in. So check it out. So look, we're here. I'm in an armbar. Most of the times, the dummies are not dying, but the person is defending. So they're trying to pull their armbar. When that happens, my grip stays inside on his, on his bicep, so it's lift up. My grip is right here on the bicep. So I take my leg out over the head and I start to pull. I can use my hand and even grab the collar and pull him up and start to go into the back, right? And from here, a lot of times my partner starts to escape when I put my leg down, so I let him slide out and I remount. That's where that transition comes in. Dummy, same thing. So look, I'm in an arm bar, right? Leg out, grab the collar, pull the dummy up, get onto the back. My dummy starts to escape, meaning I switch into mount, I let him slide off, pull my leg out, and I go into the mount. Yeah, that was right? the next question. That back was the transition that I was yelling out at you. Does that make sense, guys? Yes? Okay, what was the next one? Uh, it was the back take to mount. Oh, and then Sean said, uh, no, Nigel, would a triangle from there be valid? From where? From the back? Triangle is valid. Nigel, you can unmute if you want. Yes, triangle is valid from there. Exactly like you just showed. I don't know if you guys could see Nigel, but... So check it out. Armbar. I didn't want to. I didn't want to call out arm triangle from the back because I know probably seventy percent of people here don't know how to do it. But since the question was asked, check it out. So you'll have this for your drills for Monday. So armbar. I take the leg out. As I pull up to take the back, right? Usually triangle from the back. The back leg, the one that's by the head, is one that's on a triangle. So from here, I shoot my leg through. I pull it across and I lock my triangle. That's the triangle from the back. Let me show you on a real person. Right, change the angle. Yeah, yeah that's good. So check it out. Arm bar, right? I take my leg out. I start to pull the dummy on top. My leg comes over the shoulder. From here, I turn my hip. Look, there's a, there's a hip out here. I shrimp my hip to the side, grab my shin. Pull it across the dummy's neck, lock, and that's my triangle from the back. Let me show you the real person. It's gonna be exactly the same. From an arm bar, right, I come up, I start to take the back. We get here. My leg comes over top of the shoulder, and then I bring him back to the mat, shrimp my hips out and pull my, sh pull my calf around the front of his neck. Now I lock my triangle, and I hide my leg. This is the triangle from the back. Okay, put your leg down. Your arm. Now this is the triangle from the back. So again, one more time. From an arm bar. Maybe my partner defends. One of his escapes is to pop the head, to pop the leg, right? He starts his escape. So I grab, pull him forward, and bring my leg over top. Now I reach my hand out under the arm, grabs my shin. I put my partner back, hip out. The most important part of this triangle is the hip out. Everybody forgets it. Hip out, then lock, hide your leg, and then you have your triangle from the back. The beauty of a triangle from the back is you have Americana, Kimura, armbar, wrist lock, armpit armbar, right? You have all those options.
from the triangle position. So don't even, you don't have to think of the triangle just as a submission. It's actually a control position from the back. Only from the back though. Usually from, the, from other positions, like guard is not really a control position a lot of times. It's, it's strictly a submission. Um, but from the back, you can really use it to hang out and just like stay there, right? So, same as off. Mount, I would say no, because depends on the on the quality of your joints. Yeah. Are you because allowed to punch the guy in the face? <laughs> unless you are allowed to punch the guy in the face, it's not a control position. Okay, it's yeah, from the mount because the they'll be moving around and they'll be wrecking and rolling over your ankles. Okay. Um, so I said, unless your joints are like really good and mine are not, it's not a control position. But the back is a more of a control position, okay? The back triangle, I'm afraid. Other questions? Yep. Bring them up, boys and girls. Or men and women, sorry. <laughs> Somebody's gotta have something. Gals and guys. No questions? No more questions? No more questions. It doesn't have to be on this, it could be another position too. It's, a, it's up to you. Justin has his hand up. Go ahead, Justin. Let's pause um, the music. For the backflip pass, um, where's the best position to grab um, grab a dummy or like your opponent to like help you support it? Because I'm having trouble kind of uh, doing it. Like, I don't know if my dummy's not heavy enough, so like, um, yeah, I don't feel too grab confident. Grab the pants, just like this. Back pass. Just see how I'm grabbing the side here, side of my pants? That's what oh, I'm side of my pants. So okay. That makes sense because my dummy does not have pants. Your dummy doesn't have pants? Well, I was doing it. Okay. okay, so like Jack has a dummy that doesn't have legs. I didn't, I didn't have legs or pants. All I do, you have to really, just for safety reasons, you have to really emphasize your shoulder. So I wasn't even using this hand really. This off hand was kind of just hanging out here. I'm going to really jam my shoulder into the dummy, and then I go over the top. So it really comes down to this shoulder. So he's basically hugging around the butt of the dummy, which is what's up. Yeah. So it's okay. like... His hands are just down, so if I go to the side, his hands are just down here, right? So if you don't have anything to grab, just cup underneath the dummy or the pillow or whatever it is you're using, right? You can do this with a pillow as well. Where's the pillow? Right? This is going now, because now you don't have the, re the weight feedback from the dummy, it's gonna be more core. So, pillow, right? Or cushion, cushion, whatever. So I'll loop my hands underneath the thing, the pillow, put my head down, flip, and then use my core, bridge, and as I bridge, I throw myself back. And that's with a pillow. So more core when you don't have the weight of the dummy. So in a real life person, you usually don't have to worry about it because they have a lot of weight, so their weight counterbalances my flip back and forth, right? So. But a real person, usually this is like a butterfly guard pass, usually. So I'm here, I'll reach around. I grab the pants, but closer down to where the calf is. Like down here, that's where I grab the pants. So I might be in a butterfly guard, maybe Nathan's sitting up. Right, and I'm gonna push him forward, flatten him, reach down, grab the pants like I said, put my head down, flip, and I push with the same grips on the same pants. I push and I bridge, and I roll myself into the mat. Thank you. Cool. I, it's important to get that angle too. The angle. You just go straight over the same side. You're kind of. Yeah. Like when you're back. doing it, your head is on one side, and your legs are falling on the opposite side. All right. If you try to go forwards, you'll fall on the guy's face. Which I guess in the tournament is not so bad. <laughs> but we really should be aiming to. Um, don't be that. Guy. Fall to the side. Yeah. Don't be that guy. <laughs> or go. Sorry, man or woman. Way, it's not the kids' class. Okay, um, other questions? Going once, going twice. All right, now we pick on people. Who should we pick on? Who have we not called out yet? No. Dan? Dan, we haven't heard from Dan. Nigel? Let's unmute Dan. Spotlight Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. How's it going, Dan? Hey good. Yeah, too bad. Looks like you're sweating. Uh, yeah, that's a good workout. Yeah, Eva. All right. Up pretty good. We're gonna watch it. I'll bang the walls and I break a toe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of it. Yeah. So, it's all part of it. 
How was how's anyway. life? What's new? Uh, just uh, uh, just uh, work today. I was busy. Started I think at six thirty, and I think I went till five. So anyway, I'm I'm tired. That's a I need. A, I'm gonna have a beer now. Yeah, yeah. This working from home, right? You're working from home. Yeah, we're yeah yeah we're we're working from home, so it's actually pretty crazy, right? Uh, uh, working on the computer, phone the whole day, right? And uh, it's funny. I laughed. I uh, told one of the guys at work. I uh, bought a shitty chair at uh, at Costco. I thought it was a good deal, but when you sit in it for six hours, not so good. <laughs> it's a two-hour chair. Yeah, that's the best. Well, the beauty of the Costco. Idea at the time. So the beauty of Costco is you can return it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you bet. I should just try to sneak into work and steal all uh, steal all my stuff, my chair, my monitors and stuff. But anyway, it's all part of it. There you go. All right. Anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes to an end here. Get things back to normal uh, yeah. probably in the next hopefully month or so. Mm -hmm. Either that or we're going to be all bankrupt <laughs> as That's a country. True. Yeah, true. Getting kind of weird. Oh, well. All right. Right on, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, awesome. Take care. Too, All right, who else have we not picked on? How about Ryan? Yeah. I haven't heard from Ryan. Yeah. Let's see, how do I pin? There we go. And where do you go? Unmute. There you go, there you go. you're good. There you go, Ryan. Oh, no, things are going good. I'm working from home as well. Nice. Um, I took all my monitors and stuff. Good idea. I got the monitor set up. Took them and, from work. And, uh, I still have to order some mats ah. for the basement here. Yeah. Um, Preston and I are really enjoying these sessions, so thank you very much. You're welcome. Right on, man. It's good to hear. All right. It's good to hear. Perfect. All right. Who else is next? Uh, you, uh, Nathan, you pick somebody. Uh, who have we not picked on? Who have we not picked on? Uh, about a BPP. How about uh, Brandon? Did we talk to Brandon? Oh yeah, Brandon always sitting and watching. Let's yeah, let's hear from Brandon. Brandon. We picked on the first time. Did we? Did we? I don't remember. How's it going, Brandon? <laughs> how's your knee? Not too bad. Yeah, how's the knees coming? Come on. I can uh, straighten it all the way. I just nice. can't bend it pretty well right now, yeah. so it's coming along every day. So it's getting just rehabbing that. That's pretty much all I'm doing. Nice. Right on, man. How 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 long out are you? Did they, did they give you a bit of a timeline? I don't know. I see my doctor next, right at the end of April. Yeah. And uh, from there on, we would figure out what we're going to do, what yeah. kind of braces I can wear on it and stuff like that. Right. Have you started physio already? Yeah, I was in physio, but it's kind of been canceled. I was yeah. urgent enough, I guess so. but then as it got, the whole situation got worse, yeah. you have to be more and more urgent in order to actually still be able to go in. So yeah. no more physio right now. Yeah, they said I'm doing too good. So I guess that's good. Yeah, as long as you got a few exercises, you can kind of chop away at and do something with it. Yeah, so I, I have a book of stuff that I'm doing every day to right. strengthen the muscles and stuff. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right. Well, we'll get better. Heal up. Yep. <laughs> we'll do. He'll be brand new once this is all over. <laughs> Bye on it. Okay. Man. So we can time make him faster. All right. Um, <laughs> so one idea that was thrown around for the adults um, was to do beers with coach. But I don't drink alcohol, so I was going to just call it drinks with coach. So you could have like tea or water or coffee or whatever you want. Because not everybody has beers. Well, I guess there's not alcoholic ones too. But I don't drink, so we want we just want to have a session beers with coach. So we put on a Zoom thing just like this, and we'll just chat, just have fun, just you know. Chocolate Who's up for that? Yes, Who chocolate milk that? all the way. <laughs> just not a training session, just just chat, just talk, just you know, like who wants to do that? If you want to do that, is that Alex? Alex is yep. trying to talk? Yeah, yeah. I got Artemis, uh, I got Mike, Ryan, Ryan, up for that. Just I think it looks like everybody. When would you guys want to do that? That's the thing. Like a evening, like on a Friday, on a weekend, like a Saturday, like when would make sense for during the day? I don't know. Just, <laughs> Dan's working. You can't do that. Oh, you yeah. can't drink during the day. Yeah. So oh, yeah. you're going to do that after work. <laughs> I guess I could. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're good. <laughs> so sorry, Alex. You wanted to say something? Oh, we got to unmute. You're you're you're, you're muted. Just unmute. one second. I'll I'll meet you. There, you're you're good. Still. Sorry. Wait. You still can't hear you. Bring you your speak device. Up. You gotta speak up. Can't hear you. Bring your device closer to your mouth. Yeah. 
my guy just tired. Okay. Just you're just breaking up, that's all. Sorry, my internet's bad. Yeah, you're yeah. good, you're good. Good there. Sorry, my, I, I, I'm out in Rocky View, so my internet's bad, but you know what? It's I, like, it'd be good, like, I don't know, whenever you guys want, like a weekend or whatever, or weeknight. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just, we'll just pick a time and we'll post it in the chat, uh, in the not chat, the, in the, on the Facebook page like we've been doing. Um, Jackson said it's always 5 p.m. Do... somewhere. Sorry? Jackson said it's always 5 p.m. somewhere. Oh, 5 p.m. somewhere. Uh, Jack's going to do the, the, the tournament footage uh, breakdown, so look out for that. He's going to run that. We're going to set yeah, that up, I'll and do. I'll put up you know, the day and time that we choose to do the drinks with coach or coaches, whichever. Um, yeah, so bring your tea or coffee or water or whatever, and then we'll, we'll do that. Bring questions, you know, just chat about life. How things are going one of the things i wanted to do and i was probably going to do this with the kids and maybe the adults might want to do too is uh, i was going to do my martial arts background my history of how i started from then till now i even have some props like i have my first gi that i had as a kid um with my original patches on them i have That's all wild. those so just something cool to sit down and you know talk about I lost the belts, some of the belts, but yeah. I, I don't I have, have my original white belt. Yeah. They got lost when I moved back, back from Ontario, so. But yeah. That's gone. It's cool. Like or something. Well, hope everyone has a good night. Um, again, as always, if you have any questions on anything, if you want to do certain things next week, I know Sean wants to do side control, tax on the far side, so we'll try to hit some of that next week. Hopefully I remember. If I don't, just remind me. All right. I uh, will see you guys on Monday. All right. Have, have a good week, weekend, guys. guys. I don't think I ever, because like, I did karate when I was like six.